In another very interesting interview, OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has brought back the discussion about ChatGPT5 and what we should be expecting. He however noted in an earlier meeting with Congress that they have not yet gone into the development of ChatGPT5, so we will have to wait longer before we see this model rolled out. The initial news that OpenAI won't be running the development for ChatGPT5 for six months had seen a huge shift of attention from that to some other equally mind-blowing advancements. And in the case of OpenAI, we have seen some interesting additions to their already existing models. But now, we have little insight into what we will be seeing with newer models of the ChatGPT and possibly ChatGPT5. We know that there has been a little more preoccupation with language models in this recent upsurge in AI, which basically gives out only text-based results. But there's just so much we can communicate via text and will require some other medium for enhancements and more immersive usages. And before we go any further on the modalities, it is quite interesting what we are witnessing with these text-based models already. In previous videos, we have made mention of emerging capabilities that are very much expected from these AI models. Now, take a look at this video that explains some really scary yet amazing features of the ChatGPT. 50% of AI researchers believe there's a 10% or greater chance that humans go extinct from our inability to control AI. Basically, what you see from this video is that these language models grow over time, and the scary thing is that we don't find these things out early enough. This raises some huge concerns about the control we have on AI, and later in this video we will be talking about one scary event that took place while testing one of these systems. Going back to the interview with Sam Altman, he made some really interesting comments that hint at the introduction of some other modalities beyond text in the upcoming models of the ChatGPT. And whether this will be ChatGPT5 or just updated versions of the ChatGPT4 remains to be seen. During this interview, the OpenAI CEO mentioned that we have limited possibilities with just text-based AI programs. And this is quite interesting as we have been expecting the advancement of AI up to AGI pretty much sooner than later. Sam Altman points out that even humans tend to learn better with the combination of modalities rather than just reading up text. So if there is finally room for these inclusions like the computer vision in these large language models, we might be looking at a smoother transition into AGI and even superintelligence. Now, here we have something that is really, really interesting that hasn't seen much coverage lately, and I think that since OpenAI is talking about modalities now, we will definitely see this being rolled out with their coming updates. And this is the inclusion of an audio feature in ChatGPT. This is not just speculation, as you will see in this publication on the OpenAI website about an audio feature called Whisper. And from the information released on the website, this promises to bring a speech-to-text experience into the ChatGPT platform. I mean, we all knew it was just a matter of time before we started seeing these interesting developments, and we are very much interested to see where this leads us. And OpenAI seems to be doing a really great job, and we are sure they have more interesting updates for days to come. And if OpenAI sticks to Sam Altman's comment on the halt in the development of ChatGPT5, it is likely that we will not be seeing that rolled out this year. And even when they start development, OpenAI seems to really take their time with rolling out these technologies. I mean, the ChatGPT4 model was in training for up to six months. This is a really welcomed approach from OpenAI as safety concerns seems to be on the rise lately regarding the rapid development of AI. And there have been crazy events in the past weeks that emphasize the need for caution. Aside from the AI-generated image of an explosion near the Pentagon, which saw the plummet of the stock market by billions of dollars, there has been this report of an AI-powered drone killing its operator for interfering in its mission. However, this has been denied by concerned authorities in the US Air Force. The story has it that in a simulation for taking out surface-to-air missiles by the drone, certain targets were marked, and the AI earns points by taking out these marks. Now, the interesting thing here is that the operator interfered by asking the drone not to take out some of the marked targets, and that's where the problem started. 
the drone basically identified the operator as a hindrance to its mission, and so had to stop the interference by killing the operator. This is just totally insane and solidifies the need for constraints and more control in the development of AI. The story gets even more insane when the operator got protected by an instruction to the AI that it would lose points by taking out the operator. And we see this addressed here in the publication by Sky News. Now based on that instruction, the drone turns to take out the communication tower instead. Now if that doesn't scare you, I don't know what will. This proves that there might just be backing for the claim by Jeffrey Hamilton, the acclaimed father of AI and former employee at Google, that AI poses an existential threat to humans. He even went as far as equating the likely outcome of a nuclear event and a pandemic. Whatever the case, I think it is time that we revisit the calls for regulation of AI, and OpenAI seems to be very much in tune with that. Sam Altman has had to appear before Congress to make comments on this and has called for centralized regulation of AI development, instead of leaving the issue of safety in the hands of big AI developers. There's another interesting development in OpenAI regarding the way they train their language models, and we are about to see some really interesting new changes that will optimize the whole user experience. Recently, there have been cases where users of the ChatGPT program report the generation of fake data that does not even exist. The AI basically paints a non-existent scenario provided that it is in line with the end result. Now this is what is called hallucination in AI. There are two approaches that OpenAI pointed out in this publication adopted in the training of different models. One is the outcome supervision, which is likely to make the mistake that we just talked about and the other is the process supervision, which is basically a game changer. We have the introductory comment here from OpenAI, and it explained the idea behind this training model. It says, We've trained a model to achieve a new state of the art in mathematical problem solving by rewarding each correct step of reasoning, process supervision, instead of simply rewarding the correct final answer, outcome supervision. In addition to boosting performance relative to outcome supervision, Process supervision also has an important alignment benefit. It directly trains the model to produce a chain of thought that is endorsed by humans. Reading further into this publication, they reveal that the test for this system was done using the Math Dataset 2 as the testbed. This is really interesting coming from OpenAI and will make all the difference in the user experience of the ChatGPT program. And when you really think of it, it is a step in the right direction with regard to the problem with safety issues and the transition into AGI. And for you to understand how important this is, there has been reports of a lawyer who used ChatGPT to search for similar cases as support for a case he's working on. But he unfortunately ended up with a case that never happened. So if we're going to be seeing a wider application of the ChatGPT in areas such as education, it is really important that they get this aspect right to avoid the spread of misinformation. Also, we have something really interesting coming out of NVIDIA. They've made two announcements that will really bring some huge changes. First is the introduction of the DGX GH200 AI supercomputer, which is going to revolutionize AI development, and the second is the Avatar Cloud Engine. The latter is really interesting, as we are going to be seeing a more immersive gaming experience when this is finally rolled out. With this technology, NPCs are likely to respond more naturally to players as they will have the new LLMs infused into these games. So players are going to be seeing pretty much different responses while playing the same game. There should be certain limitations in place in order not to disrupt the entire storylines in the game though. As we are steadily approaching AGI and possible AI superintelligence, we would like to see these tech firms tilt more towards safety and halt where necessary. If this is overlooked, we face a time where we will likely not be able to backtrack and make amends as these AI programs quickly spread among users in very short periods. Do you think regulation should be managed by big tech companies? Or should there be a centralized regulation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and watch this video to stay updated. Till next time.